Hey guys and welcome to the Hackenons YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to print without adding a new line in Python. So without further wasting time, let's get started. When we are working with a print statement, did you know print has two formal arguments, one is end as well as separate keyword. These keywords are useful for formatting the code we write. For example, I am printing the statement called as print hello world, which simply prints the hello world as you can see over here. But we can use the end and separate keyword to make some changes in our code and we will see how to do that. So first thing is let me change this print statement from hello world and I'll say print name and then I put the colon and what I'll do is I'll print the word that is hackinons. So if I run this, you can see we've got this name and below that there's a line separation and then we get the word hackinons. But now we will print it using the keyword that is the end. Okay. So that I'll type down in the comment end and then I'll say print and the same thing that is name, which I'll take from here from the above print statement. So just copy down that here, paste it. But now I will add the end argument and inside that I will just specify a space and then I will take the print statement and the print hackinons. And if I run this now, as you can see the difference in the previous print statement, the line was getting printed on the next line, but now it simply gets printed on the same line. So the reason for this is the end argument as a default takes a slash n, which is an escape character for printing the text on the next line. But since we access the end argument and assigned it to a blank space, now instead of printing a, a net next line sequence, it simply prints the word hackinons on the same line. Now we will see the separate keyword. So let me create a comment here saying separate. And now what I will do is I will just print a statement called as a date of birth. So before that, let me just comment these lines of code. And let me print date of birth. And now what I'll do is I'll simply use the print another print statement and I'll print the date of birth. So for example, I let's print the date of birth as 19th of September. That is nine. And let's give it a year 2002. Now using the separate keyword, we can this format the spacing between the print statements. For example, I'll put in dash and if I print this now, as you can see, we get date of birth and between each quotation mark, we have seen that a dash is present. So basically the separate argument as a default is simply a space character, but now we have changed it to the dash symbol because of which the text is formatted in the form of a simple date of birth visual. Now let me print this statement and now let's make use of the separate as well as the n word right over together. So for that, let's try to print a statement called as date of birth. So I'll say date of birth. So that's it for now. And what I'll do is I'll let's remove this colon here and inside the end argument, I will put the colon. So it will be something like this. And now I shall print the date of birth. So let me take that route for over from here, copy the same thing and paste that on the bottom line. And now let's print and check the output. So as you can see, first it said date of birth. Then because we specified the end argument, the escape sequence was assigned to this space with the colon mark. So that is visible right over here. And then we printed the date of birth using the separate keyword, which allowed the position of the formatting of dashes. So that's it from this quick video where we understood how to make use and access of the end and separate keyword. If you have any queries or doubts, don't forget to drop them down in the comment section and drop a like and subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel. And we'll be back soon with more fun and interesting videos.